What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Swift video. In today's video, we're going to be learning about disclosure groups in Swift UI. So here's the app we're going to put together. We have this top level group called legal stuff as one would call it. And we can hit this arrow and you'll see it'll drop down these further um, disclosure groups. So we can open up even these and we'll see respective text that's associated with it. So we'll take a look at how to use a disclosure group first and foremost, hold its state, and then also how to nest disclosure groups in one another like we see here. So if that all sounds good, make sure you start by absolutely destroying that like button down below. Helps out a lot more than you guys uh, imagine. So definitely hit it. I appreciate it. That said, let's get into the video. Let's begin by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. We're going to stick with the app template under iOS and let's go ahead and call this a disclosure group for our project name. You want to make sure your language is Swift and make sure both your interface as well as lifecycle are set to Swift UI. Go ahead and continue and save the project wherever you'd like. We'll toss it onto my desktop. And first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and hit resume on our preview here. I'll close up that right panel since we don't need it. And we'll also go ahead and expand our Xcode window. Let me also go ahead and change the preview device to be a 12 Pro Max. Now, while this is loading, and actually there it goes, we'll talk about a disclosure group. So a disclosure group is kind of what it sounds like and is what you saw. Basically, you can have a drop down where you can disclose more uh, UI or more pieces of information when a user taps on something. So instead of talking about it, let's go ahead and create one. So I'm gonna first and foremost create a navigation view. We're gonna toss in a V stack and let's go ahead and add in a disclosure group. So let's use that autocomplete that was popping up, disclosure group, you'll see both of these here. And we can go ahead and open up the parentheses and the one that we're looking for should have a label and it is expanded as well as a content, so this one here. So the first thing here is a label. So let's go ahead and say, maybe we're gonna use this for privacy uh, policy and terms. So we'll say privacy policy and terms. The is expanded is going to be basically a state which is going to tell our view, you know, is it the expanded state or the closed state. So I'm going to say dollar is expanded and we're going to take this and we're going to make a state property up here. So I'll go ahead and just do line break, line break. Go ahead and add a state and go ahead and say by default this is going to be false because when our view loads up, we don't want it to be expanded. Now ignoring this error momentarily, we also need to fill out a content. And this is basically what shows inside of our disclosure group when uh, it opens up. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is imagine we're uh, putting a big piece of text on here. So we'll go ahead and just copy and paste these are our terms. I'll go ahead and just copy and paste these a few times so we have something nice and long. Let's also go ahead and say multi-line text alignment and we can go ahead and say this will be leading and without further ado let's go ahead and resume the preview. Let's take a look at this disclosure group. So uh, we should see it pop up. Give it a few seconds. Looks like it's taking its time and being typical Xcode and giving me a hard time but there it goes. So the first thing you'll notice is the P in the left of the screen here is flush up against the edge. So that's not really great. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of padding. And I'm also going to add a spacer to move it to the top of the UI. And let me also go ahead and add a title here of disclosure group, just like that. And now you'll see it's at the top here. So I can go ahead and hit the run button and you'll see that it has this little right arrow and we can hit it and it'll open up the terms of service just like that. Open and then we can also go ahead and hit it again to open and close it. So pretty simple, pretty useful if you have a bunch of uh, you know content that you want to show but maybe it's not as important to warrant taking up the majority of your screen. Now what's cool about this is you can nest disclosure groups inside one another. So instead of having this be privacy policy and terms, I can go ahead and say this is called legal stuff. And we can copy this whole thing. Let me get rid of, well actually I'll keep that there momentarily. We can copy this whole thing. I'm gonna paste it inside here and once more. 
And this first one is going to turn into a disclosure group for terms of service. And this next one here is going to turn into one for privacy policy. And the one thing you want to be careful about is we want to have two more state properties. So the internal uh, disclosure groups are you know separate. They're decoupled from the single state. So we'll say is privacy expanded. And this one will be is terms expanded. And we'll respectively go ahead and uh, update these. So this one will be uh, is terms expanded. And this one will be is privacy expanded. So let's go ahead and hit resume in our preview up on the right hand side. Let's make sure it's going to cooperate. And if we go ahead and expand this, you'll now see that there are two further disclosure groups inside of here. So you have the option of flexibility when it comes to these disclosure groups in terms of nesting them within one another. So that's all I had for this video, fairly short and hopefully to the point. If you guys haven't done so already, definitely drop a like down below if you enjoyed the video. Hit, consider hitting subscribe if you're new to the channel and haven't done so already and leave a comment down below are you using swift ui what do you think of disclosure groups and definitely give me video suggestions if you have something you want to see and have been waiting for thanks again for watching i'll see you in the next one